It's Pikachu! It's the fairy! Fuck! Hey guys, what's going on? It's uh, Mark from Team OTK. Bringing you our Monday segment, Meme Deck Mondays. Uh, every Monday we'll be showing you a different meme deck. What meme decks are generally, they're budget-friendly decks. They don't follow what we'll call the standard meta. And uh, they're a lot of fun to play. They may not always hold their own, but you play them for the memes. Today I'm going to show you guys the uh, Galar Mines Pangrowth deck. It's a lot of so guys, after the introduction, let's get into the meme deck that's going to get you some Ws. Starting off, we're starting with three Stellar Wish Jirachis. It's pretty standard in the majority of decks now. Stellar Wish, you look at the top five cards of your deck, and any trainer that you find there, you put into your hand. It goes to sleep. But in the deck that we're running, it really doesn't matter. And then we're running four Tangela. Tangela leads us to our Tangrowth, and our Tangrowth is the one that's doing the majority of damage in this. The Tangrowth has a move Grass Knot for one energy. One energy moves are, in my opinion, absolutely amazing, and this one is amazing as well. Uh, 30 damage, uh, well, 10 plus 30, and it does 30 for every colorless in your opponent's retreat cost, and this is where Absol comes in. The Dark Ambition ability Absol, it adds one retreat cost to every basic on your opponent's side, and it can stack really, really quick. Believe it or not, Tangrowth with four Absol on your bench can one-shot an ADP. It does 280. And the final card of the monsters is the uh, Resetting Hole Marshadow, because if your opponent is playing a Chaotic Swell, for example, you need to get your Galar Mines down. So therefore, you use the resetting hole, you put it to the discard, and you can lay your Galar Mines, and it's good to go. That is the Pokemon in this deck. On to the trainers now, guys. So we're running for Quick Ball. It's self-explanatory. You discard one, and you can find any basic that you find, so you'll get your Absols. You'll get your Tanglas, you'll get your Jirachis, even your Marshadow if you absolutely need it. Then we're running four Pokemon Communication. This is basically to get your Tangrowth out there. So like a combo play, for example, is you can quick ball away something random, get a basic, use Calm, put the basic back in, get your Tangrowth and go forward from there. Run on two Great Ball. Look at the top seven of your deck. If you find any Pokemon there, you put it into your hand. The reason why I'm running Great Ball is because it's very, very important to be able to uh, evolve that Tangrowth every single turn because you want to be smacking. You want to be striking as much as your opponent is striking you, we'll say. We're running two Vitality Bands, and the reason why we're running Vitality Band is because, believe it or not, an Absol with the Shadow Seeker can one-shot a Dragapult VMAX with the Vitality Band and Galar Mines in play. It's insane. Absolutely insane. Then we're running one Ordinary Rod. It's uh, put two basic Pokemon, well, to put two Pokemon from your discard into your deck, or you can put two Energy into your deck, or you can do both. It's really, really good for mid-game. The deck absolutely needs the energy back after you lose two or three Tangrowths for sure. Then we're running two Switch because it's self-explanatory. You're using your own Galar Mines to uh, put the retreat cost up on your opponents, but what it actually does is it puts the retreat cost up on yours as well. So you need your Switches to be able to get a uh, Tangrowth or an Absol up to your active two attack. And this is where the scoop up net comes in play as well. Scoop up net's really good for Jirachi. It's really good for something trapped in the active. And we're only running basics in this deck. So scoop up net, it has to be in this deck. Then on to the supporters. Running the basic four Marnies. It's your opponent gets four, you get five. It's it's really, really, it can change the dynamic of the game, you know? Then on to the four profs research, discard your hand and draw seven. It's when you need to get those fresh seven. 
find your Absol, find your Tangrowth, find your energy even. Uh, it's, it's really, really needed in this deck. And one of the boss's orders, just because you need to gust up stuff sometimes. For example, if you do 220 with a Tangrowth and then they retreat it out, boss's order back up and take the knockout. Then, finally in the list, is the most important card in the list, really. It's the four Galar Mines. What it does is the retreat cost of both actives is two colorless more, which goes along with the Absol, and it goes along with the Tangrowth. The more you can stack that retreat cost, the more damage both parties are doing, and your opponent's really not going to have a good time with it. And it's a rather small energy count in this list, but I tend to like it and I feel like it works out pretty much every single game. So you're running six grass, three dark, and three twin. The reason why you're running the dark and the twin is because of the Absol. The Absol does more damage than what the Tangrowth does and it can one-shot a Deepholt DMX, which in this meta is very, very prevalent right now. So, anyways, I hope you guys like Meme Deck Mondays. It's Mark signing out for Team OTK. Leave a like and a subscribe, and we'll see you on the next episode.